Do you see the toad? There's a big toad in the screen here. Let me get down in here and focus in on him. There he is right there. He's holding still. He thinks he doesn't see me. I know he doesn't. <laughs> yes, I do see you. All right. I'm back. No, I wasn't shot up down there in Lewiston, Maine. Um, it's kind of an interesting thing down there. They have a huge Shriner Temple down there in Lewiston, Maine. I'll see if I can put a picture of it up here. And uh, big giant place. We were going down through Lewiston the one time and uh, we're driving along, you know, and what is that? <laughs> you know, and uh, so there's, there's no connections though. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. It's just another person, bad American, bad actor with a gun. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, watched one of the local news reports on this shooter in Maine. And uh, they said that he's Army Reserve and a firearm instructor. False flag. Excuse me. <clears throat> I have to get that checked. Um, yeah. So, uh, another, in other news, I actually modified my hat here a little bit. Inside in here where it was kind of you know, really press it into my head and it didn't feel too good. I took it apart a little bit and I cut the the brim or whatever. So fits okay now. Still don't really like the pre-distressed thing here. Uh, like I said in my other video, I can do that on my own. I don't need somebody to wear out my hat before I even buy it. Um, not really into that look. And uh, the fit of it was not that great before I modified it. And I don't really want to modify it have you know 200 hats sent to me and modify them or something so still working on that um but we'll see again i will let everybody know about the hats but uh just wanted to warn some people about some uh globalists in the comments um globalists are into a number of things that will bring people together uh, integration is a globalist agenda as well as the destruction of nationhood um, remember that God formed the nations. God is the one that said, you know, spread out after the flood in the days of Noah. God put the bounds out there. God does not say, I want everybody to come together and I don't want you to care about your nation that you're part of and whatever else. And I've been accused of being worldly because I talk about, you know, how can we fight for America and whatever else and can we make a declaration of independence and can we, you know, what do we do going forward? Oh, you're just trying to preserve your life, Brian. Well, um, yes, that is actually true. You're very right about that. You see, because 1 Corinthians chapter 7 talks about he that is married cares for the things of the world, how he may please his wife. 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. If any provide not for his own, especially for they of his own house, he hath denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. I have to think about this world. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 talks about um, he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way and then shall that wicked be revealed. I'm supposed to hinder the Antichrist, the Holy Spirit within me, and I'm part of the body of Christ. So um, he who now letteth, that's the Holy Spirit. Until he be taken out of the way, that's the body of Christ. If you actually study the passage and it's not some kind of kooky thing where oh, it's actually talking about the Antichrist, Brother Brian. No, it's not. Um, parent comparing scripture with scripture. Uh, the body of Christ is here to hinder the Antichrist system. We're supposed to slow it down. So how do you hinder a globalist movement? Through defending your nation. Defending it against things such as, uh, oh, I don't know, um, invading armies of illegal aliens coming in to eat up the substance of the people. Yeah, that's a big problem right now, isn't it? Pretty terrible. We have to stand against that. Um, you know, different people were, you know, offended. I said that, you know, I wish I could run for political office. And they said, that's contradictory. And all. Please understand what I'm saying, people. There are certain things I wish I could do. I wish I could, you know, shoot laser beams out of my hands or something. Well, that's never going to happen. <laughs> you say, well, that's the wrong spirit. <laughs> so, uh, I wish that I could do a lot of things. But I am limited in what I can do here on this earth, in this life. 
I can't do everything that I should do, or, or, or not should do, that I wish I could do. Um, but I have to do my best. I have to do something to provide for my wife and my son. Um, I live pretty rough right now. We are off grid. This is our land here that I'm walking around on. Um, I thank the Lord for it. But it has been a rough life. A very rough life. No running water since 2018. Um, that's the way we've been living all this time. Uh, we don't have a lot of things that, you know, it's the way it is. But it'd be even rougher if it was just me. If it was just me <laughs> and I didn't have a wife and a son to take care of, well, um, definitely be a different thing. And you have to remember the Apostle Paul was a single man. But that doesn't mean that he was pushing his single ways over on married people. He made it very plain that married people have to take care of their wives and uh, children, their own, in other words. And if you don't, you denied the faith and you're worse than an infidel. In other words, you don't understand what Christianity is all about. Jesus Christ takes care of his bride. Um, and I'm supposed to take care of my wife. So, uh, just be careful of this stuff in the comments. If you're seeing it and you're starting to say, I'm a little confused. I guess maybe we shouldn't stand for America or whatever country we're part of. No, you should. You should stand for your national sovereignty, your national boundaries. And I know over in Europe it's sickening because you're getting all the immigrants coming in there. The illegal alien invading armies coming in there. And it's just very sickening. And they're, they're doing it to prepare for war. Again, you know, oh, let's all come together and things. You know what's going to happen with that? It's going to lead to war. Lots of death and dying. That's what's going to happen. Can't figure that out? No, brother. Oh, we're going to come into this wonderful thing, this globalist world where we all just get rid of national boundaries and we'll say, I'm a citizen of the world. Well, then you're rejecting scripture because there are bounds of your habitation. And when you understand your ancestral type of land, then you start to understand your ancestral heritage that God has. A heritage that's wonderful and beautiful. Um, there were certain things that I did growing up that I was, the way I was raised, that was very German. And uh, those things meant a lot to me. And there, consequently, there were things I did that were not very German, and those things just didn't work out too good for me. Um, and I didn't understand the thing about inheritance, biblical inheritance, what God has prepared for those. Uh, God sees distinction between different races. Uh, he's no respecter of person. Um, that's very true. But God wants differences. He wants unique characteristics. And uh, so, I do a lot of study into these different things and I, I do a lot of research, huge amounts of research. And uh, it just, my faith in the Word of God grows all the time because of the research that I do. And I realize that uh, God has got some incredible plans for His children if you are willing to follow His Word. So um, please be real careful about falling for these lies of these globalist people that try to come out, come out and say, you know, you shouldn't be patriotic, you shouldn't be trying to defend your nation and whatever else. That's very dangerous. It's very dangerous. Um, so I just wanted to put a little video out here real quickly. Uh, just give you some food for thought. So that is going to be it. I will see you in upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.